Hi, welcome back to the workshop for episode eight of the P-Base build. And this week, we're gonna be doing my favorite part of all. We're gonna be carving the profile on the back of this neck. Okay, so I've done a, a little bit of work in preparation for this stage. Um, I've made a couple of little templates, one for the first and one for the 12th fret positions on the back of the neck. Um, but also, I've put together a very quick jig to hold the neck in position while I'm working on it. Um, and that's going to, just go into my vise like that, nice and tight. The neck sits in there like that. with a screw through one of the tuner holes with a big flat washer on to spread the load. <coughs> and I'm just going to quite gently clamp that down at the back. So hopefully that's gonna hold my work nice and securely for me. And I'm hoping that it's also far enough off the bench that I can kind of work rasps around without kind of getting caught up on the bench too much. If not, I'll just have to work from one side. It's not a problem. Just turn the whole jig around in the vise. Okay, but before we can make use of this, I need to take it out again and mark the neck up. Now there's a few markings that I need to put on this neck. First thing I'm going to do, just with a square and a pencil, I'm going to mark the positions of the first and twelve frets all the way around the neck. Join those lines up. That's the nut line just in there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to need that for the time being. So, so I don't confuse it with the first fret position and start carving there. I'm just going to scribble that out. Okay. Now with that done, the next thing is I've marked where the heel meets the body. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to rough in kind of what I want that transition to look like. We don't need to worry about that just yet, but I just want it in there to give me an idea of how I'm going to get the neck looking. And I'm just going to do the same in here. Something like that. And then for the 60th time, put that center line back in. And what I've done there is I've halved the distance between the center line and the outside edges of the neck on each side. And I'm just going to use my finger as a guide and kind of run those down the neck. And then I'm just going to run a line kind of halfway along the neck. At this stage, these are just kind of rough guidelines.
Okay. So what I'll do is I'll get this set up in its jig and I'll bring you in a bit closer so you'll be able to see how I've marked this out. Okay, so here you can see this is where I'm going to have the transition for my headstock. There's a center line running through and then there's these two lines that kind of halve the distance from the center line to the edge of the neck and they run right the way up the neck. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rasp, which is very rough. I'm going to start working away at the first fret position until I get my little template to fit down onto there. Okay, so that's pretty much where I need it to be. It's probably one to two millimeters fatter than it needs to be, but obviously we've got quite a lot of cleaning up to do. So that will take the excess material off when we get there. So the next thing to do is to move down the neck and do exactly the same thing at the 12th fret. Okay, so that's more or less down to where we need it now. There's a little bit of material to take off and it is still looking a little bit square, but we can get that once we get the rest of the, the neck dialed in. So now I'm gonna take the saw rasp with the really aggressive side and the two lines that we drew that dissected the side and each half of the back of the neck, we're literally just going to put a 45 degree chamfer along those lines on both sides of the neck. Okay, so I've done that on both sides. Um, a little bit out of breath. But what that's given me now is, instead of having two facets, I've got three. So I'm just literally gonna take my pencil again and I'm going to mark in about halfway along each of those facets. Doesn't have to be millimeter perfect at this stage. And now I just do exactly the same process with those facets. And hopefully you'd see there that actually that went a lot quicker than it did on the first few. Um, so we're starting to get very much where we need to be. Now you could continue using that process of kind of putting the facets in and halving them to your heart's content. I've done a lot of necks, so I know now pretty much where I'm going with this. 
So really it's just a case now of joining up the two profiles at the first and the 12th fret, making sure to keep the lines nice and straight. Okay, so that's the first stage of the carve done. Um, it's still a little bit notchy. Um, it's gonna need kind of refining quite a bit, um, but I'm quite happy with the shape and it's all kind of relatively straight if you put a straight edge around it. So that's great. So I'm gonna take it off this jig now and just have a look and have a feel of it really to see how it feels in my hand. So yeah, it's, it's a long way off done, but it is looking quite nice. And yeah, I think that feels quite good. I'm not a bassist, so I'm not sure I'd really know, but that feels relatively comfortable to me. So the next stage in this is to kind of get a block out and some kind of fairly rough sandpaper and just start to blend this all in now, get it all smoothed out. I'll probably use something like 60 grit to start with and then start to work my way through the grades. A good tip when you're doing sanding like that is if you use a very coarse paper to start with on a block, you're gonna keep things nice and straight. If you try and go to fine sandpaper to do that, you'll quite often start to get things going astray. So start with the really rough stuff. Once you're happy with the shaping of it, then use the finer stuff to refine your finish. Okay, so there's the main part of the neck kind of sorted out. Um, that's kind of rubbed down to 150 grit now, so it is nice and smooth. I can't really get into these kind of areas around the transitions yet because there's just too much material there. So the next stage is going to be to start to carve this material away and get the headstock and the heel into the kind of shape that we want them to be. But so far, I'm really happy with that. Um, it's gonna need a little bit of refinement once I've got access to the whole neck, but it feels really nice. It's quite chunky, but I do like a chunky neck. And I probably think on a base, that's not a bad idea. Okay, so with the bulk of the neck kind of roughed in now, um, I'm gonna turn my attention to these transitions at the headstock and the heel. Um, now you could go about this in the same way as we did the rest of the neck with rasps and files etc um, and there's nothing wrong with that it's what a lot of people do but I like to do this bit with the chisel I find that you can kind of remove a lot more material really quickly um, and if you're careful you're not going to kind of be splitting the wood or, or causing any damage.
Okay, so with the bulk of that now roughed out with the with the chisel, I can now go in with the smooth side of the saw rasp and just start to even that up a little bit and to kind of blend that in, get rid of all these little facets that I've put in with the chisel. Okay, so I've got the bulk of that transition roughed in now. Still have to go back to it and just finesse it a little bit later on in the process, but I'm going to give you a quick look at how that's looking at the moment. It's still a little bit rough, but it's getting there. I probably need to just sharpen up these transitions a little bit, make them a little bit more scooped out. Um, but that's looking good. Happy with that so far. So I'll turn the jig round and uh, crack on with the other end. Okay, so I've got a lot of the heel done now. Um, and it's basically, it's just exactly the same process that you do on the headstock transition. So you start off kind of working your way in with the chisel and taking that material out that way. And then when you're somewhere near, kind of go in with the, with the saw rasp. I've just been using the smooth side for doing these. It's, there's not actually a huge amount of material to take out. And we're very, very nearly there. There's just a little bit of work to do around here. Um, how well you can see that, but I like to get these so that they follow a straight line right the way in to this area. But they can, I can see and I can feel, I don't know if it's visible on the camera, but there's a, there's a little lump in that area there. So it's kind of coming away up into the transition and I don't really want that so I'm just going to work at this area a little bit more and try and get it a bit closer to where I need it. Okay, and that is pretty much done now in terms of the shaping. Um, there is a little bit more work to do on it, but it's what I would consider to be finished sanding. It's not actually shaping, it's just the, the final finessing, getting it ready for its finished coats. Um, and I'm really happy with that. It looks really nice. I'll try and get some closer up shots, transitions are nice. So a little bit of finishing off work to do. Now that's rubbed down to about 120 grit at the moment, so it's gonna to have to go a lot smoother, but it's looking good, happy with it. Come out quite nicely. And of course the $20,000 question is, has it moved? Let's have a look. It looks absolutely fine. Um, it doesn't appear to have moved at all. It's still a little bit low on these frets down the heel end of the neck. Um, 
but I've got to level this yet. So we'll take some of that difference out when we level. Um, and as I've said in the past, I always put a bit of a drop away at this end of the board anyway. So if anything, that's just saved me a job. So it's all looking good. I'm really happy with this so far. So I think for this stage, as far as the calves concerned, we're good to go and we're pretty much done. So I think we've made some absolutely fantastic progress um, getting this neck carved in the last couple of days. Um, I'm really pleased with the way it's gone. I'm especially pleased that it doesn't appear to be moving anymore, um, which is great news. Uh, I've done a little bit more work around the back of this headstock. I've just smoothed out this line here, which was looking a little bit notchy. You might have picked that up in some of the earlier shots. So that's looking nice. Um, so yeah, really happy with how this has gone. I'm going to be back in a couple of days time when I'm going to be leveling and dressing the frets. So as always, like if you've liked, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you soon with the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.